today we are going to tell you about one of the most amazing women of all time. She started with nothing and became a hero we still talk about 200 years later. Araminta Ross, nicknamed Minty, was one of nine children born in the 1820s on a large farm in Maryland. She lived with 11 people in a tiny shack, maybe even smaller than your living room. Back in those days, depending on just the color of your skin, you could be forced to be a slave, which means you worked all day long and were treated very badly, and you never got paid and had no freedom. Minty had almost no food. She wasn't allowed to play with friends, and she never got to even swing on a swing set. When she was six, maybe that's younger than you, she had to take care of a newborn baby all night long and make sure they didn't cry. And if you have a baby brother or sister, you know they cry a lot. The people who owned the farm where she lived said they owned Minty, and her family too. They said they owned her like you own a house, or a car, or a toy. So they thought it was okay to tell her what to do, and what to eat. And that's why they never paid her, or even said thank you. Instead, they made her work more and more and punished her if she didn't. This made Minty very tired and very sad. And one day, she was hit in the head so hard that it hurt her brain. She was in bed for weeks, and when she finally got out of bed, she'd sometimes faint and fall on the ground for no reason. And that happened for the rest of her life. As she got older, she had to work more and more. And it wasn't emptying the dishwasher, or taking out the trash, or making her bed, or cleaning her room. She had to do hard work, like plowing fields, and loading wagons, and moving huge logs across the field to make room for farming. This made Minty very tired. I mean, I'm tired just thinking about it. Sometimes this also made her sad for the things she couldn't do. She wasn't allowed to have a dog like me to play with, and that would be awful. But all of this also made Minty strong. And as she grew up, she became braver and braver and stronger and stronger. Then one day, when she was a grown-up in her 20s, Mindy decided it was time to run away on a journey to Philadelphia so she could be free. She wanted her family to come too, but they were scared. So Mindy had to go alone. This was especially hard because sometimes Mindy would faint from her head injury and no one was there to help her wake up or keep her safe. Minty traveled on the Underground Railroad, which isn't a railroad at all, and not under the ground. But it was a secret group of nice people who helped Minty hide in houses, and churches, and schools along the way. These loving people knew slavery was wrong, so they helped Minty and many others make their way to Philadelphia. And the name Philadelphia means brotherly love. Isn't that cool? Finally, Minty made it to Philadelphia, and she was free. That's when she changed her name from her slave name, Araminta Ross, to her free name, Harriet Tubman. Harriet, after her mother, Rit, and Tubman for her husband back at the farm. Harriet loved her new life, but sometimes she missed her family and felt very alone. 
I would miss my mommy, my best friend Faith, Cyclops Pig, and Tonka Wonka Donk if I were far away. Who would you miss? She missed her family so much that she decided to be super brave and she went all the way back to save other slaves and bring them to freedom. She did this 13 times. She walked more than 2,000 miles and saved 70 of her family members and other slaves by secretly bringing them to Philadelphia where they could be free too and then travel through the dead of the night right into the sunrise every day. But she didn't stop there. Soon it wasn't even safe to be in Philadelphia so she had to go even farther away, all the way to Canada, which is another country to the north. This was so hard, and she had to be brave again, but she never gave up. She helped more and more people escape to be free. So many people that everyone began to call her Moses. She even became the first woman to lead a battle during the Combahee River Raid, where she saved 700 slaves and made them all free. And with all of her travels, she never lost a single person. Now you know why Harriet Tubman is one of our greatest heroes ever. She loved everyone and was a true leader. We'll always be thankful for everything she did, for the person she was, and for the love and bravery she shared. Even though she was a small woman and black in the days of slavery, who had a brain injury that slowed her down, still, she changed the world. Remember, when things are at their worst, we can always stand up for ourselves and for others. We can always do what's right, even if it's scary. And we can always do our very best and give our special gift to the world. Because Harriet Tubman was the only her, and you're the only you, and I'm the only me. Hey ho, Story Dog here. I'm so glad you watched our clip. You know, you can watch entire episodes at www.story.dog. Help a puppy out and subscribe to our YouTube channel. When you do, you subscribe to your own happiness. Trademark pending.